So, Warners, why were they at Dover Court, Donna? Let, you, we know why, don't we? Should we tell them? Tell them. Basically, David Croft and Jimmy Perry originally had Butlin's holiday camp at Clapton on Sea in mind for the external camp scenes for the pilot episode. David Croft approached Robert Bobby Butlin with the idea, however, he wasn't impressed with the thought after Butlin had spent 20 years upgrading their image. They missed the point of the show being set in the past. The next choice of Warner Holiday Camp in Dovercourt turned out to be ideal with just the right look about its original style chalets. The pilot episode had props from Skagness and Clapton on Sea, which added a great touch and made it look as, as it would have looked in its heyday. Warner Camp was used throughout the entire run of Heidi High. Butlings at Clapton, however, however, does feature in the vintage holiday camp footage in the closing credits of the show. When I made a film the other week on Cla Clapton Seafront, just telling you the train used to go round there, they used that in Heidi High. So Clapton on Sea was part of Heidi High at the end credits when the train was going round. But I told you that anyway, this is just confirmation. We were there. They did miss the boat. It should have all been filmed at Clapton, but still, at least Clapton was involved with the train. And there you go. Why Warners at Dovercourt was filmed in Dovercourt and why Clapton was involved. And look, Heineken refreshes the parts other beers can't. And Peggy finally got a yellow coat. And that is Peggy's yellow coat. Beautiful. And that is the history of Heidi High here right now at the Harris Museum. Please come along and see it for yourself in the flesh. Our videos will only do so much justice for the mighty Harris Museum and the wonderful expedition they're putting on in honour of Heidi High.